If I got this coriander 15 days back and still this is so fresh. Hi, my name is Dr. Kajal and welcome to Creative Cooking. In today's video, we'll see how you can store coriander absolutely fresh for one month. So here I have got some fresh coriander. This is what I got today from the market. So I'll show you step by step how you should store it like this. So for that we'll need coriander and here I've got a bunch of coriander. The first thing we'll do is we'll take a knife and we'll cut off the ends. Just one inch above this knot, we'll cut it just like this. Because we don't want any mud or the roots to come into our storage. So what we are going to do simply is just discard this part and now you see we have got the stems and the coriander here. So for the storage we will need a plastic container something that is uh, in a square or a rectangle shape. So the next thing we will need is a kitchen towel. So here we have got kitchen towel and we will tear it and place this at the bottom of the container like so. If you do not have a kitchen towel then you can also use a handkerchief or any thin cotton material. So now we'll start arranging our coriander. So take a small bunch of it and just place it in the container like this. If you have longer stems then what you can do is simply just turn them around like this. And in this way they are not going to become shrunken, they will remain fresh. So I'm going to leave these small leaves because uh, they are not so fresh when I got them from the market. This is the one that's tied in the knot. So we are not going to use them and we'll throw these away. So now our container looks absolutely ready to get into the refrigerator. The last thing we need to do is take another kitchen towel. And we'll place this right above the coriander. You need to be a little gentle while doing it. We don't want to push it too much inside. We'll just roughly fold this like this. And now we'll place the lid of the container. So now our container is ready to go for the storage in the refrigerator. Make sure you do not put this in the freezer. Just put it in the refrigerator section and this will stay fresh for one month. And just in case if you have got a small bunch of coriander and you do not have so much that it would last for one month just for a week or so then what you can do is actually wash the coriander under running water and then pat it dry and allow it to dry it completely under the fan. Once it is dried then you can pack it in the same way that I have shown you here and in that way you can directly use while you are cooking you don't have to wash this. The reason why I have not washed it in this video is because if you wash it and pack it then it would last just for a week. So that's good for the people uh, who have got either small amount or who are doing a lot of work together like going to the office or, or are just on the go when they are making food. So you just grab this, this container and then you remove some coriander chop it and directly add it to your dish. Another thing that I want to tell you all is the type of corianders that we get in the market. There are two varieties that we get in the market. The first variety is the desi variety or the native variety where you will see the leaves are pretty small and this one has got flowers on them. So this one is very tasty, it has a different type of a freshness and I always think that this one's better than the other one. Whereas the other one we have got, uh, they say this is the Chinese coriander. Uh, I don't know why is the name Chinese but yeah here you see the leaves are pretty big as compared to the other one. So if we had to look at one of the leaves, the leaves are pretty big and here you see the leaves are very small. These ones will never have flowers whereas this one will show some small flowers which are also edible. So if you can add this to your chutney, there is no problem. Absolutely it will taste fine. So these are the two differences when you buy coriander. So the storage waste it's same. So storage goes like this. We close this. We make sure that it's not open from any end. And to have an airtight container is equally important. And we pack the coriander. And here we have taken a tissue paper. And we just gently press this. Close the lid. Like so. So both our containers are ready for storage now 
and what am I going to do with so much of coriander? Well, I am going to make some green chutney. So that recipe if you want, I will put the link here and you can check out that recipe. Also I am going to make pani puri at home because fresh coriander is the, is the best for making pani puri. Also uh, there is one Maharashtan dish that is called Kotambir Vadi uh, that also you can make with this coriander. So if you are planning to grow your own coriander, you would need coriander seeds. They are available in the market. Uh, I actually had got the coriander seeds from one of the online stores and I had put it in the pot. Uh, it grew so well and one day the squirrel came and she ate all of that. So there is nothing that I can show you guys now because I have thrown away with the packet and the coriander is all eaten by the squirrel. But definitely I will put the link of the online store in the description. So if you wish to grow your coriander, you can do that too. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's session at Creative Cooking. If you did, then give it a like, subscribe to my channel so you get notified whenever I post a new recipe. And do try this way of storage of coriander which would last for at least one month. So this is Dr. Kajal signing off. I will see you in another episode. Till then, take care and check out my other recipes.